Mr. Vaniocho. My dog, Rugo. You are What's here the deal, on the uh, Keep It Moving podcast. Oh, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. How you feeling? Oh, man. I feel good, dog. Shit. I can't wait till we drop some shit together, man. Absolutely. That's, yeah. It's going to be a fun summer, man. Oh, bro. It's going to be a good summer for the eight, man. Y'all yes, mark our words. I already know. Stay looking out. Anyway, we are here to talk today about the eight hat company. Dog. Let's do it. Cause you will be here for the uh Rugo and Friends pop up with your eight hat co. Yeah, man, Rugo and family. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Yeah, I'll be here, man, for sure. And um come through with some new styles for you and stuff. Got it's you, a good time you. for us, you know. Well, I'm looking forward to it shit and uh we're gonna have to swap pieces and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already know I gotta have to get you in it, man. My shit. God. Try to get you on the model shit again, man. Yes, sir. Well shit. Holla at Pops, you know what I'm saying? Side Dogs Raw, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get him on the phone ASAP. <laughs> yeah, we got a few flicks we got to take. When's the album? Hey, you need an album cover with everyone on it. Oh, man, shit. All the people I love in the Valley, they wouldn't fit, man. That's it. It's too many people, man. Shout outs to whole eight, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I want to ask, um, as my first question, to dive further into your brand, when was the eight hat? co-established man like when did you really start with this were you young or were you like later into your career were you doing music first um shit man i was a part of a group first you feel me i was a part of a crew called crooks so like you know i started with them like from like 2011 to like 2014 so like when 15 came we was kind of like in a, like a rocking point where we didn't know like if we wanted to continue. You feel me? Gotcha. So in that time of me figuring out did I want to still rap or not, you feel me? I was like, I need something that's gonna last, cause in the game it's about tangible assets. You feel me? It's Absolutely. about having something that's gonna outlive you. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck it, we need a hat. You know what I'm saying? Cause like. I got an infamous story about me having the L.A. hat and somebody asking, am I from L.A.? And I tell them, I'm from the Valley. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? And they be like, then you not from L.A.? Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, it, it's what like that. Shit is it's, that's that, why man. I go so hard for our city, you feel me? You think, you think this shit gonna go in vain? Like, <laughs> what? They told me that. I was like, well, fuck y'all too, this <laughs> shit. Like, what? I'm gonna get us I'm a hat. I'm gonna make my own hat I'm gonna, what, For us. For see, us. For us. Oh, you for, me too, motherfucker. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, you from the Valley? Me too. You feel me? <laughs> So it was just, that was always my vision, you feel me? Like, yeah. I want some shit for us, you know? Like, you could poke your chest out when you in your city, like, nah, nigga, this for us, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, because you know the West Coast all about your section. Like, nigga, we rapping for this section. That's, we rapping for true. this section. That so, is true. Nigga, the same rule apply, you yeah. feel me? Like, we going hard for the Valley, you know, whatever side. It's only Valley side, absolutely, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and um, basically, 2015... You know, I started it, you know, I used to go to the Slauson okay. uh, to get 12 hats. I would give six of them to the homies and then try to sell, like, six of them, you know, get some bread back, you know. That's the right. whole My whole thing was, like, I wanted the pretty bitches to get one, so I'd probably give out more than six, you uh-huh. feel me? So I would just keep making the hats, you feel me? I would, um, anytime I could give one away, that was, like, a big thing, because, yeah. like, you know, shout out to Bankhead, you know, straight out the Trun Radio. Yes, sir. We would Bankhead. be rolling around to different events, uh-huh. and that was, like, the, the thing. Like, this is the celebrity I need a picture with. This the thing I need to get the hat to. You feel yeah. me? So, you be waiting for your grand moment. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But um, 2018, the the Sox logo with the SFV cracked off. Shout out Rear Ed. You know, he's, like, the head designer of cookies and shit Oh, now. that's what's up. Shit. So, yeah. He was, like, the first person, you know, to get it cracking for me. Like, my designs was all from the Slauson book. Like, <laughs> the Varsity 8. Yeah. Let me get that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was all just what they had for you. Oh, they said, motherfucker, you got no these excuse. logos to choose from, and I, that's what you could use. I didn't have a graphic designer. I said, fuck it, no fuck excuse. It. I'm going to use this one. You feel me? Like, <laughs> until I can figure out what the fuck I could do, we're going to use that one. Right, you got it straight, don't you? My guy. You know what I'm that's saying, crazy. man? So, well, then... This leads into my next question a little bit. Did hmm, how can I word this? Man, what, just say it right. All right. right. What it, what inspired you to fully put just like the the effort into it? Huh? The effort into it? Oh no 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 the the eight one eight like culture like what do you think about colors or like your logos your encompassing 
the valley with to put on your also hats body. and shit. Yeah. Well, shit, man. Like with colors, look personally, I always look at my shit like Michael Jordan or Nike uh-huh. for the valley. I want to be like you could wear that shit any generation. I don't get old. Like my shit, go get a fresh SFV yeah. hat, a fresh eight hat. You feel I me? I ask because your color waves, like anytime you're on your website, is just fucking like. Any fucking color you want, I feel like. And not a lot of brands are really doing that. They'll have a select few, and it's like you, you get what you get. But you figure a different design for each color. Yeah, man, because our city, you know, we from like a... We from like we got the best of both worlds, you feel me? Hmm. So it's a lot of fashion being consumed, too. So I can't never get comfortable with being like, oh, yeah, this is the only thing that's going to work, you yeah. know? So I try to, like, give everything a shot because at the end of the day, one change your life. You yeah. gonna, uh, you can throw out a thousand things, you feel me? It's going to be that one. It ain't going to be two. It's one. So I'm, you know, just trying to stay with what's going on because these kids, this new generation, it's not like when you look at some shit in a magazine and it got a date on it and you go try to track it down. You yeah. feel me? It's like, bro, you can get it right now. Yeah, exactly. Like, right, it's like, available on the site. It's live. What? You do a raffle for a shoe? If they got your fucking information, they just take it. Yeah, they send you your shoes you want. Give yeah. me my money. You feel huh. me? Like, it's a whole different thing how we consume, too. So, I just want to keep up. You know, I don't want the I don't want the valley to slack. Like, I'm when I say I'm coming for us, like, I got to really stick up to that. Well, that's good looking now. I think you're doing a very amazing job. Because you're not only just about just the hats and shit, too. You got more shit included. You got your shirts. You got your hoodies. You got, you say you mentioned you got socks and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even imagine what you'll come out with next. But I want to ask as my next one, like, what what do you think are some key pieces that you think are your are your best, like, to your the supporters? Va- the, va- the Valley hoodie, man. The Valley hoodie? The, the outline Valley hoodie. Let's speak like, on it. Why, why is that? Oh, man, it's just direct. People people don't like to guess when they look at it. They just want to know what the fuck going on. When they see it, they be like, oh, that's what it is, yeah. you know? So, like, like the SFV I thought was tight, but the Valley one went harder because it was like, SFV, you got to ask me what it mean. You yeah. feel me? With the Valley, it's like, oh, there I go right there. The meaning is just right on it. You can just read it and automatically, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so just, you know, with Brandon, it's all about, like, how quick can you say what you want to say? You feel me? Without <laughs> yeah. saying it. Yeah. So that's my biggest thing is how quick can I say it without having to say it, you know? Yeah. And I think it's very encompassing, too, because it's like there's so many, especially in California, different valleys. Yeah. And a lot of motherfuckers are from a valley, this valley, that Marino valley. valley. So you you be able to just like Apple spread valley. in there anywhere for just valley kids and shit. It doesn't matter from our valley to yours type shit. Oh yeah, bro. It ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be, you know, we ain't gonna exclude nobody. You feel me? Like how I see it, like you say it could be for all valleys, but yeah. you know, when I say the valley side, you know it's A one A forever. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? No My disrespect God. to no other valleys. But, Not at all. But, but I treat it like cool the only valley. <laughs> your, your brand can go that way, and that's very like awesome to see that you have that much power with that shit. So keep doing your shit, bro, because it's only gonna keep going up, Hell I think. Yeah. And um, I wanted to really ask like what, cause I I do the merch shit too, right? Man, you you do it for real. This is nice, man. I shit, I you. like this. So, you know that it's multiple steps to just this right here, right? Man, let me get the pin, though. This is tight. Oh, uh, you fuck with that? No, that's going to be some exclusive shit for the uh, show. If you pull up to the show, we will be having pins thrown out, collector's items and shit that you could be throwing on the hats, on the fucking whatever you want to throw it on. Yeah, shit. Throw it on real quick, man. Absolutely. Show the you people how to wear it, man. On the one-way hat. How about yeah, that? Yeah. How about that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this motherfucker right here. My dog got it. You need it for the summer, my boy. It's going to be a hot one. Hey, y'all know where to go get it. <laughs> you feel me? Yes, sir. Well, um, further into my question, because, I, like I said, I, I do the merch shit, too. I be you do it for this. real. I understand what the steps and the process is. I wanted to ask what what your process is looking like when, when you make your merch. Like, is there a certain thing you make first? Do you go by certain sizes first? You buy hella bulk and shit? Like... For for people who would want to do this shit too, like what's the basic layout for how? How do you feel, and what do you want people to feel? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That That's the first thing is like, how do I feel about the shit? And do I feel strongly enough where I'm going to put my money where my mouth is at any given moment? You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, because, you know, everybody say start a brand, but everybody don't tell you about, like, that debt you come with it. You feel yeah. me? Especially, like, when you really, when it's really all on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I feel like with the merch, man, my process of making stuff or how I want to make it, first thing I'm thinking is propaganda. Like, what am I trying to say? And how am I trying to move people? Because, like, you know, sales is damn near, like, you got to be forceful. Like, you know, I, I love E.T., man. E.T., the hip-hop preachers say, like, in business, you got to be forceful. So if I wake up and be like, nigga, I'm going to rock purple and gold socks for 50 days, nigga, that's the style. And if you say something, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to influence somebody to rock purple and gold socks. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. like, And, like, you got to be blindly, like, I don't give a fuck. It got to be some shit, like, in your heart, like. Do I give a fuck what you say? Yeah. No, I don't give a fuck what you say. These purple and gold socks are going to sell. You feel me? <laughs> so you just got to really have it. Like, you got to, if you ain't got the heart to be forceful or be like, this is this shit going to work. Well, it shows you believe in your shit. And I think that's what really, at the end of the day, is what gets it to the people. Because if you're not believing in it enough to push it and put it in their face, then it's like, the fuck I'm going to buy it for. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's definitely like you, everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't wore a motherfucking... I ain't wore nobody hat in five, six years. Fuck. Like, <laughs> what? I, I, you know, I just started rocking, like, bucket hats that might not be mine. You yeah. feel me? But, like, <laughs> what? I wake up and look at my shit and be like, what the fuck I want to wear that shit? Yeah, like, that's just how that's I'm on how it. You feel me? Because, what? If you got a fucking brand and your closet ain't got none of your hoodies and shit <laughs> in it, you feel me? You, you don't love that motherfucker enough. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Like... You got to show that shit off 100%. Bro, you better wake up and be like, nigga, I got that collection, too. You yeah. feel me? Like, you see somebody wearing it, nigga, I got that, too. This shit dropped in 2021. They don't even got it. You know what I mean? You got to love oh, it. Oh, this is the shit that ain't even out. Yeah, they don't even got it. But you got to step outside like side yourself and just really be like your fan. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's hard in itself because, like, if... Man, you know this California shit a motherfucker. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's a big testament to your to your uh to your brand, man. Like the fact that you encompass such a wide culture, um, the fact that you have so much history within just being from the eight one eight and putting it on a shirt and putting it on a hat and all that. It's it's very commendable, man. So it's a real culture, man. My bad for inter- you know you know it's a real place. I didn't get this. I didn't make this shit up to be like some shit that like, you know, I went somewhere and mm-hmm. then I thought I was like, oh, you know, this is what we're going to put together. Yeah. This is like homegrown. You feel me? Like, well, still like, same place. Like, I won't even throw an event like nowhere, you know, that's not at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, we didn't have pop up. Like people have us in Hollywood for the brand and shit. Bro, I, I still put my money for the Valley. I, I wouldn't even go out to their market. You know, I huh. just stick to our shit. You feel well, me? Well, I guess the last question that I got for you and to overall just, like, I guess cap off on what your brand means to you is, like, tell the people what the message of your brand is, man. Like, what what are you fully trying to get across other than maybe just 818 culture? Nah, nah, nah. We, um... We a team, the hat and the clothes, the uniform is is the, the agreement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My thing was like, all right, bro, we all know L.A. got gang culture. We got gang culture, too. They shit just more saturated. You mm-hmm. feel me? So what's our number one agreement that we could get along with first? Cool. Everybody likes sports. You yeah. feel me? Everybody like the Dodgers and the Lakers and shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, the community. You feel me? Yeah, like, it'd be like, that's what make the team the community so like when i be like man i'm repping for the eight like i came off saying vani ocho you feel me san fernando valley san fernando is spanish you know i'm i want to be a part of that you feel yeah. me like i agree with y'all yeah you feel me they agree with me we agree you know yeah for the culture well it's all together connected community and i, I fuck with that that's that's very good nah, to hear bro, man. we gotta the ochos man the whole movement what I really want the family and the foundation of the Valley to be is just, like, don't be scared to start where you at. Like, you could, you know, shit, you could rap for anywhere. You could do what you want to do. But, like, absolutely, don't don't ever be like, oh, I'm here, so I can't do for here, you know? Yeah. Do where you at. Yeah, right on, right on. Well, I genuinely think that, you know, you're going a very 
great direction with what you got going on. You still, I feel like in very early days, man. Like uh-huh. this shit is still gonna pop off way oh, yeah. further than where it already is for you now, man. Just keep grinding at it, keep doing your shit. Um, it was a pleasure to have you, Mr. Oach. Man, My hey, guy. keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I was sir. gonna say, you know, shit. June 18, bread and butter. You know, came to do me and Ruggo got some shit popping. You feel me? Go get that. No. And uh, we're going to have a listening party on the 23rd of June. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So, you know, we're going to come out with some new merch. Go Pull follow me. to the Milk Room, you Woodland know? Hills, 623. See my boy Vani Ocho live and shit. We're going to be doing everything he said that we're going to do. We're going to be previewing his music, <laughs> doing this shit live for you, baby. Y'all just got to pull up. So My dog, it, keep man. it moving. Yes, sir. Let's get it.